you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. like asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to go. The next today is getting here to here. But before I get to run my mouth, I'm going to do what? Shake up this manifestation jar, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. And I pulled out two, and the first one says, what? Multi-streams of income, and we'll take that all day long. Yes, we will. And last but not least is what? It's already worked out, and indeed it is. Listen, y'all. Getting here to here, what does that mean? Maybe you're in a space right now. You're saying, God, how did I get here? God, why am I here? Maybe you just lost your job. Maybe something just happened to you. You're thinking it's a trial, tribulation, hardship. And you're saying, how did I get here? And I'm telling you, sometimes you're there so that you can what? Hear God. Because truth be told, in this walking journey, when we're not all the way aligned and connected, we are so easily distracted. Distracted by work, distracted by our spouse, distracted by our kids, distracted by family members, distracted by friends, distracted by our neighbors, to where we got so much going on to where you can't hear God. So sometimes God had to get you, get you here so that you can hear. And sometimes you think that it's a terrible thing, but it's not. God just wants you to be able to hear him speaking to you. And when God speaks to you, it's some good talk. I'm, listen, I'm telling you, it's some good conversation. Why? Because God will begin to guide you and lead you and give you knowledge, give you insight on things that will benefit not only you, but your family. It'll benefit you spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. So when you can't hear God, then you'll find yourself in different spaces to where where you're not really flourishing all because you're not hearing God speaking to you which means where you're not walking in the spirit not walking with who you are at core which is God so listen if you find yourself here it's because you need to hear let me give you a prime example my son he's in college now right and when we took him to his orientation for his college, and I was thinking, who is that person? Who is that person? Who is that person? I saw the principal, the, well, I wouldn't say the principal, I saw the person who was over the whole school. And then I saw some people that came back who were very, very, very successful after graduating from the school. So they were lumped up, you know, a whole lot of people were crowded around them because they were celebrities. And so I said, you know what? I need to go and speak to them. I need to speak to them. And they were very important, but I knew that if I had gone over there when they were distracted by everybody else, they wouldn't remember who I am or who I was, and they most certainly wouldn't remember my son or my husband or my daughter. So I said, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait so I can get that distraction away from them. And so as I waited and this distracted died down, I went over there and it was just me and them talking. I said, hey, how's it going? You having a great day? And I made sure I had my smile on, made sure to ask them how they were doing and just had a good conversation. And I said, this is my son, this is my husband. My husband, like, y'all, I told y'all, I, I already told y'all that I'm the loud one in the family. So I'm the only one walking up, okay? So I'm telling them, say, hey, yeah, this is my husband. And my husband introduced himself and whatnot. And then my son introduced himself to the people. And they go, oh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. And they remember that. And so when my son started school, I said, hey, have you seen any of them? He said, yeah, I did, I did, I did see them. And I said, yeah, they remember, they were actually said, how's your mom? Because what? They remember me. Why? Because there were no distractions. There was no type of distraction, and that's what God wants to do for you. He wants to get you away from all those things that are distracting you so that he can get into your ear and talk to you. And guess what? When he's done talking to you, you will remember what God said. And when things come around you to do what? To taunt you or to make you think that you're not going to make it, to make you think that the best is not going to gonna come, or make you think that the thing is not already worked out, guess what? You will, you will remember the conversation that you had with God. Does that make any sense? Why? Because there was absolutely no distraction around you when you were hearing from God, when y'all had your conversation. So getting here to here to here is a good thing. If you lost your job, listen, everybody has lost a job here and there. Now you need to listen. God may be trying to tell you something like what? Hey man, you about to become your own boss. You about to become an entrepreneur. Hey lady, you about to go to a better job. You, you get what I'm saying? Don't just think your hardship, try and tribulation is just there to woe is me, why am I here? It's not there to taunt you. It's not there to make you feel less than. It's there to get you to get into the space where there's no distraction so that you can hear from God 
and he will begin to advise you. And I told you, his conversation, conversations and his advice will bless you spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. It will. But you got to understand that you're there, right there, so that you can hear from God. So open up your ears. And when you're there to say, God, I'm here to listen. What do you have to say to me? Get your notepad. Get your tablet. And write down. God will speak. God will speak. God will speak to you. Just like he speaks to everybody else. You're not different from anybody else. God said he has no what? He has no, um, I can't even think of it right now. I was just on the tip of my tongue. He said he has no respect to person, which means what? If you are willing, he will be there. If you're willing to receive, he will give. If you're willing to hear, he will speak. He will speak. He will. So go ahead. Ask God. God, I'm here now. And I'm ready to hear. I'm here and I'm ready to hear. It took me a while to learn that, y'all. It took me a while to learn that. Because I used to always find myself saying, God, why am I here? How did we end up here, God? How did we end up here? And God was saying, you're here because I need you to hear. You had too much distraction, too much noise, too much noise. So find your quiet space. Play some soothing music, maybe let something like a harp, okay? String instruments, something calm. And say, God, I'm here to listen. I'm here to hear what you have to say. And God will speak. And do not, listen, listen to me, listen to me well. Do not expect God to speak to you in one particular way. I think I spoke to y'all about that before. Because God can speak to you through a whole lot of other channels. Maybe your daughter or your son may come in and say something. And they'll have a ring in your ears like, oh my God, that's the answer to, to what I was They may just say, Mommy, have you ever heard that song? And they put on a song and they're saying, it's going to be all right. Say, it's going to and you go, okay, God, I hear you speaking. You, you get what I'm saying? Or maybe you turn the TV on, right? After you and prayed and said, God, I'm ready to hear you. And if you didn't hear God through your physical ears, speaking out in your spiritual ears, then if you didn't hear that, then maybe you, after, after all your praying and meditation, and you turn on the TV just to watch something, maybe somebody come on there and start talking and saying something that's pertaining to your answer. That's God speaking to you. Don't rule out how God speaks. God will speak to you through a picture, through a painting. He'll speak to you through your neighbor. They don't even have to say anything to you. They could just do something in their yard and you can go, oh, okay, God, I got it. Thank you. So listen, God have you here so that you can heal. Y'all remember that? I'm almost at eight minutes, but I thought I should tell you because a lot of times we get too distracted, get so distracted by this life to where we're we're not able to hear God. And if you're over there in a corner right now saying, why me? Why am I here? Why are we here? How did we get here? You're in that here space because you need to hear. God want to have a conversation with you. And this conversation is indeed going to what? Bless your life and your family's life. So get ready to hear. Hear, hear, hear what God wants to tell you, okay? Hope y'all got it. But if you didn't, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the mask of smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Get ready to hear. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.